Um, my name is Laura Kim, and this is... I'm Mark America, and we are both visiting from Boulder, Colorado. And together we are an artist duo named Malk. M-A-L-K, as in Mark America... And Laura Kim. Is it just me? How could it be? I'm just a brand. The anti-selfie! So, um, part of it is thinking about um, an artist's role as in the 21st century and perhaps beyond or now or yesterday. Um, the video starts with um, showing a lot of um, older science fiction film um, that was digitized later on and can be easily accessed online and then evolves into um, artists like um, who are working in an air at, um, in a time when um, chance was being played and um, we integrate that process into our own ways of looking at lyrics and writing, um, which evolved into the next phase of the video, which ends with going into new media artworks and um, artworks that exist um, at the moment um, in this post-internet age. And as Laura speaks about time, it also brings up another issue that I think we were interested in exploring in this particular work, which is that uh, we come from different cultural and generational backgrounds, and yet we share very uh, similar uh, aesthetic sensibility. And what I mean by that, of course, is that we're interested uh, in similar artworks and similar creative processes, using similar media and uh, looking at ideas. Uh, you know, I mean, we're different people and we have different takes on things, but there's a lot of uh, continuity in our thinking. And so one of the things that was kind of cool was like, okay, so how do we, how do we take these, uh, these noticeable differences and then these noticeable uh, similarities, uh, common interests, and, and play with them, which we do in the video because, it, you know, once you see the video, of course, one thing you pick up on right away is that it's a very playful work of art. Psychic automatons we birth, birth. Psychic automatons we birth, birth. It's time to align with the cosmic jerk. Um, the music, the lyrics were remixed between both of us. We passed it on back and forth, and then the music started to kind of evolve. Um, part started evolving afterwards, and um, uh, I personally was looking at um, goth, grunge, industrial, techno type of music, and um, Mark had his own take on it too, and. Combining those together, we worked with a um, sound composer, a musician named Chas, uh, Chad Mothholder, and um, he took liberation with um, some of the soundtracks that we provided him with that we were inspired by, um, and he produced this amazing track for us that we sang on top of. Yeah, I mean, we're very lucky to have you know great collaborators who can get into like like our mind in a way, our, our group mind. Sometimes it's called the, the third mind. So it's like you have a mind and I have a mind and those are two minds, but you know, when we collaborate and we get into that you know, shared headspace, it becomes a third mind. That's taken from the, uh, the cyberpunk fiction writer, uh, beatnik writer as well, of course, uh, William Burroughs. He, he wrote a book with a guy named Brian Geisen who was a painter called The Third Mind. Yeah. So you can almost say that the digital afterlife as a work of art really is uh, is kind of a, a manifestation of the third mind. And a notable thing is also, um, although it follows a traditional trajectory of a pop music video, um, the language you're hearing, if you listen carefully to the lyrics, is not really conventional type of language you would hear on radio pop, radio music. And so it's the, we also are thinking about um, subverting of your like, expectations of what pop music could be, which um, Mark talks about as avant-pop. Yeah, avant-pop as a, uh, 
as a critical media practice. So we're like we're we're critical media artists in many ways. So uh, like the opening lines are psychic automatons we work work psychic automatons we work work. It's time to align with the cosmic jerk. Psychic automatons we work work, and the idea of a psychic <clears throat> and the idea of a psychic automaton is a uh, is borrowed from and remixed uh, from the surrealist concept psychic automatism where you actually create like a stream of consciousness work of art you usually write it out and so the, the work is improvised uh, non-stop without thinking about it you just make it as a work of psychic automatism but by mixing it into psychic automatons what, what does that do we're just calling that into question like how are we all uh, sort of programmed now to conduct these information behaviors without even thinking about it. Not that we're necessarily robotic, but sometimes it feels as if that were the case. You know, like what is it that makes us automatically reach for our phone and take a picture and post it to a network? Is there a lot of thought uh, involved in those kinds of gestures and behaviors, or are we now sort of programmed to behave that way? And if so, uh, are we turning into some kind of psychic automaton, which is different than a robot because it's coming from our imaginations, but something else is happening uh, within. Which is also propelled by virality, um, which also appears in the video um, in the formats of memes. And so you would see Duchamp's unicycle piece that goes into um, of the frog, the well-known unicycle frog. And so there are these kind of visual puns um, and humor that's embedded within it um, and thinking about how that kind of virality is in motion, um, how we use imagery as a some sort of organism or organic motion that just happens in our head psychically um, and propels ideas forward or communication forward without even saying verbally. And, and that feeds into the lyrics is again. So one of the lyrics would be like, uh, uh, is it just me? How could it be? I'm just a brand, the anti-selfie. 